Welcome to my June Plan With Me video. Please sit down, grab a cup of coffee or tea, because it's going to be a relaxing one. But before we get into it, here's a flip through of my May setup. Even though it's busier than that I'm used to, I have liked it more every time I open my journal. I am, however, still struggling with how to design my mood tracker so I've kept tracking it on a spare note, but if you have any suggestions for me on how to design this one, please let me know. Now we're getting started with the June setup. I'd like to say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare, and because this month is Pride Month, it's going to be a colorful floral theme. I'm starting with coloring the title. Followed by cutting out my Dutch door. I have many requests to keep the footage of that in, so I tried my best to visualize it properly. I'm using my X-Acto knife and a thick piece of cardboard paper as my cutting mat. Just as a disclaimer, please be careful when doing this or ask for help from an adult. With this design, it's also really easy to use a small pair of scissors. Notice before cutting is that my paper was glued together a little bit, so I tried cutting that loose. As soon as that's done, I can start drawing tiny circles as a guide for the back page. I divided my page in five equal parts, each for a different color. To draw the flowers, I'm using the circles as a guideline. With the Tombow brush pen, I'm sketching the rough shape of the petals, sometimes softening the edges whenever I feel like it's needed. Every flower has either 4 or 5 petals, and I continue doing that until my page is filled. While you can watch me do this, I wanted to introduce you to this month's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring online classes in so many different expertises, perfect for everyone who wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. I, for example, am using it to watch classes in marketing, web design, and SEO to gain more skills within these fields. But if you want to explore new hobbies, learn a new skill, or just like me, want to become better in skills such as video editing, marketing, photography, graphic or web design, Skillshare is the ideal platform for you. The first 1000 to use the link or code on my description box will get a 1 month free trial of Skillshare. So if there is something that you would like to learn or get better at, be sure to check this offer out. But now, back to the video. As soon as that has dried for a bit, I grab my small fine liner and outline them. Double lines as the outline of the petal. Mm -hmm. 
scribbles in the middle for the crown, and lines in the petals for a fold. I also want to quickly talk about the journal that I'm using. I'm working in the April Showers journal from Archer and Olive. It's in this gorgeous lilac shade. And if you want to have a journal like this as well, I do have an affiliate code. Use Amber's Notebooks 10 for 10% off your entire purchase, with which you can save some money and you help me out with that as well. The flowers are done and to make them feel a bit more connected and not so floating, I'm drawing some leaves and branches. I have explained how I drew these branches more precisely in my August Plan With Me video, which I will link here in the video. thought the page was filled enough, I grabbed my X-Acto knife again to cut off the excess of the two pages. And then it was time for the monthly calendar. I'm starting off with drawing all of the flowers. by the highlighting of the boxes, each row in another color. If you want to recreate this, you can also choose to do it in one color and keep it more simple. I gave the Tombow time to dry, I drew the outlines of the flowers, and the petals and branches. I'm underlining the boxes without a ruler to make it look more gentle. Then I can number the calendar. And adding name of the month. If you watch my videos more often, you might have noticed that I always make three swatches of the color at the right bottom of my page. However, with this five color theme, I was not sure if it was going to work. Therefore, I tried it out on a piece of paper that I cut off earlier to see if I would like it or not. Ultimately, I decided to go for it and I feel like it really finishes the page. The 
calendar page is done and we can move on to the quote and gratitude page. Again, I'm starting with sketching the guidelines for the flowers. What you can properly see is that I sketched these in waves, inspired by the cutouts of the cover page. Now I can start with the coloring. While I'm drawing the flowers, I wanted to quickly remind you after watching this video to click the link in the description box to be one of the first 1000 to click the link and redeem your free trial month of Skillshare to start exploring new hobbies and skills. As soon as that is done, I am starting the quote saying, the earth laughs in flowers. With flowers being colored in, uh, guess what, rainbow. Every color takes up one and a half litter, which turned out perfectly. gratitude page too busy and unreadable, I decided to highlight every other day in my favorite pink color rather than create the rainbow. Before I forget to tell you, the materials will be named in the description box below. After filling in the branches and petals, I'm making a loose outline of the quote page. And I created a drop shadow for the word flower. To finalize the page, I'm numbering my gratitude tracker and drawing the title. And there it is, my June 2022 bullet journal setup. I'm so happy with how this theme turned out and it's very busy and colorful yet I feel like I was able to keep it quite minimal. What do you think? I hope you like my video and if you're new here, make sure to check out my other videos and maybe like and subscribe. Comment down below with your theme as this month. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!